I so made. So let me be the first person to let you guys know that this lovely outfit on Vicky J, it was hand painted. Taking a, you know, quick um, glance at it, you would think that, oh, it was, um, you know, yeah, they had used uh, beads, crystals and all of those things to adorn the outfit. But guys, and painted. <laughs> So Vicky James is wherever she thinks she is. She keeps evolving and I for one, I love to see it. This outfit on Vicky James, the first time she introduced it was when she did it for Tuke Makinwa for the AMVCH and now she's doing it for herself and it's so lovely. So I'll leave you to hear how she had gone about it. And I wanted to make sure that I created something magical, something beyond what I would normally do. And I came up with this perfectly crafted masterpiece, this wearable art, as I call it, because this is an artwork. This took a lot of pushing myself beyond the normal. You might not know it, but this dress is fully hand painted from scratch to finish. I worked with an amazing artist to create this masterpiece, I Gerald Arts, and we worked tirelessly for days and nights to create this masterpiece. And it makes me so proud to see what the mind of a creative can do. And, and you know that feeling where you think of something, you envision it, you start to fear what the outcome will be. What if it flops? What if it doesn't look nice? What if I'm not able to pull it off? But because you're such a determined creative, you go through with it, and at the end of the day, it comes out so perfect. That's the whole story of this dress. We started off with a tool fabric. Um, when a stylist first reached out to me, they said to me, Vicky, we are coming to you because of the detailing that we want to see on this dress. What they did not know was that I wasn't going to give them what they were used to, that I was going to push myself, and I did just that. We want this dress to be full on blings. We want this dress to be shiny, extra detailed. And they said that that was my signature and that was what they wanted. The way the lines on this dress um, blends into each other just blows my mind. I love how the lines here connect to the lines coming up here and also how the lines from here connects all the way down and connects with the one coming from the waist as well as the lines from the hips connecting to the lines around the knee and also all the way down here. I'm really excited that we wanted to create such a mind blowing, such a captivating dress and we did just that. The Vicky James brand is a global brand. And how else do we show it other than creating these masterpieces for the world to behold? So I further went to find out about the artist and yeah, he is, he did a very good job. He's, uh, by the way, I Gerard at on Instagram. So I found out a more explicit, um, way he went about doing the old art thingy. And then uh, I'll just leave you to enjoy the process. And then uh, learn one of the things from it. A heart speed to the city streets. We begin to feel the fire. We rise like tall buildings as the chemicals they take us higher. The night's young and it's just begun. She puts her hand in mine We want to chase the night Want to dance to the light oh. So mate, this is a work of art and uh, it's so good to see You can actually learn one or two things from this and inculcate it in your own work as well So um, overall, I learned that for you to be able to have this kind of beautiful design, you have to put into concentration five things. And the first one I would be talking about is the fabric paint. So there is need for you to choose a fabric paint that is suitable for the type of fabric you're working with. Fabric paint comes in different colors and types. The types of fabric paints that we have out there, we have the acrylic, we have the metallic, and we have the glitter. 
about the acrylic paint on fabric, the thing about it is that it bonds well with fabric and it's the one that is usually used for this uh tie and tie exactly so it bonds well with fabric fibers which result in good addition and color retention after washing it comes in different colors moving on to the metallic paint uh, one thing about this one is that it has the um, mirror-like reflective effect and it exhibits some sort of appearance it kind of changes at different viewer angles exactly it can be high-end and it is not washable. The only thing you can do about this is for you to dry clean it. And uh, it also comes in different colors as well. Moving on to glitter paint on fabric. There's one thing about this, you know, from the word glitter, it glitters. Exactly. So it has this shimmer and sparkle effect. So it basically adds um, shimmer and sparkle to fabric, you know, to create a glittery effect. And uh, it can be used on various types of fabric, such as the cotton, polyester. Exactly. And um, just that is that for um fabric paint moving on to the second thing that should be put into consideration when i'm um, trying to you know uh, inculcate fabric painting into your design the second thing that should be put into consideration is paint brushes exactly so there is need for you to select a variety of paint brushes in different sizes and shapes to apply the fabric paint to your fabric note Kindly ensure that your brushes are clean and in good condition to achieve precise painting. So moving on to the third thing to put into consideration, I'll be talking about fabric. So there is need for you to choose fabric that you want to paint. You need to decide on the fabric you want to paint. Um, considering the different types of paint that we have and the design you want to achieve. There's need for you to make sure the fabric is clean and free of any wrinkles before starting the painting process. This is very, very important as some painting will not be washable. You know, I talked about the fact that the metallic painting is not washable. You can only dry clean it. Hence the need for you to have done the um, washing before going ahead to do the painting. So moving on to the fourth thing I would be talking about is a protective covering. There is need for you to place a protective covering under the fabric you are working on. This is to prevent the paint from seeping through and to protect your work surface. It is very, very important. So the final thing I would be talking about is reference images or designs so there's need for you to have reference images or designs as this will help you it will kind of guide you to the painting process and the embellishment process so that you know it's just kind of guide the normal sketches that we so do. following this guide following these reference images or designs will prevent you from making mistakes while painting while creating your design on your fabric as you know it's paint you really cannot rectify any mistakes that you you know that you do in the process so that is that about that i talked about the fact that there's need for you to put into consideration the fabric paint paint brushes uh, fabric itself the protective covering and reference images or designs by using all those tools and materials i believe that you can successfully paint a fabric you can even go ahead to hard beading and attach crystals to you know to give it um more detailing exactly to create a stunning and unique design so guys that is that for this video let me know what you think in the comment section and don't uh, kindly subscribe and give it a thumb up i'll see you again in my next video bye guys